Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Radhi and you're watching my channel, Radhi the Brand. Today's video was requested. First of all, thank you for the request. This is a part of another video that I've done, which will be linked in the description below. And actually this video will be just put in the playlist. If you're not familiar with the video, we created this custom theme, which you can check out in the description below. And now let's focus on the video. So there are two things I want to do. The first thing is I want to do a drop down menu for this. And also I want to fix it on mobile. So we don't have too much work to do, but I just downloaded this from GitHub and that's why it's a little bit broken. So we need to fix this. And this is broken because we haven't actually assigned a menu to it. So first of all, let's go to WooCommerce menus and let's create a new menu. So create menu and this is going to be our new menu. And we just need to tick this box. Uh, this is the custom menu that we created originally in the previous tutorial, WooCommerce custom menu. So if we save this, Technically speaking, if I was to go back to the website, you will see that the menu is working. And obviously the items will be slightly different now, but it doesn't really matter for this example. So the first thing that I want to do is create the drop-down menu. So let's go back and let's create a dummy drop-down menu. So maybe under shop, we can drag out of my account. Maybe cards and check out i mean normally you wouldn't do this but just for this example that should work and then if we refresh you will see that our menu is slightly broken what happens in here is if we inspect the items first of all we have uh let's have a look at the end here we have a list and this is the shop link so under the shop link we actually have another unordered list with a submenu class. So we can actually use this to our advantage to first of all hide those elements and just show them when we hover over on the shop. So let's have a look at how we can do that. I'm gonna grab this class, submenu, and go back to the CSS. So first of all, obviously make sure that you're running a life size compiler and just go find the header styles if you're following along and then find the menu links here they are and let's have a look we can do all this in the nav uh, here is our menu and menu item so first of all let's hide the sub menu to do this we can do sub menu and then inside here we can do display none save this let's go back refresh and as you can see the drop down menu is gone obviously if i was to hide this for a sec that would make it look a lot better so yeah that's looking that's looking a lot better now and now the next bit will be to when we hover over this to show the menu now i'm going to do a very basic example here so what we can do is under here under menu so inside here actually inside the menu item what i want to do is when we hover over a menu item we want to display the submenu as a block we can do ampersand hover and then we can do dot sub dash menu which is the class that we want to toggle basically and what we can do is display as block save this and let's have a look at what happens so if i refresh the page and go over shop you will see that the menu is appearing but it's actually breaking a lot of things so there are a couple of things that we need to do first of all, but it should be a very easy fix. If we go to menu link, for example, all right, so what we want to do is scroll down to the submenu and, and the most important thing here is to position the submenu to be absolute to the menu item, I believe. Yeah, and if this is not relative, then we can position it as relative as well. We'll have a look. So let's do that. First of all, let's display this as none and let's reset any padding because this is a ordered, unordered list, sorry. So padding can be zero. Then we need to position this, we need to position this as absolute so it doesn't break. And then we can set a background color to something like white there are probably variables that i can use from the top but let's just simplify it and then we can do maybe minimum 
width for every single, uh, for the whole menu to be 140 pixels, sorry. And then we might as well put the setting this at one, just so it goes over. And then let's save this and see what happens. So if I was to refresh now and hover over shop, you will see that we're getting the menu and it's kind of working, but of course I would rather have it stuck underneath and we can do that fairly easy. So every single item in here, uh, it's a list. So we have a list with the menu item in here. So what I can do is target that. So inside here, I can do menu dash item. And then inside here, we can reset any padding, uh, padding sorry, and then display as block, which hopefully will bring every single uh, link, was a link or list in a new line. So if we were to uh, hover over again, as you can see, this is working. And there are now a minor fixes that we can do. For example, we can make the links to extend full width here, so they're easy to press. Maybe we can give it a little bit of padding. But just like this, we created a super easy drop down menu. But of course, this is a very basic version that just works. So let's have a look at how we can fix the rest, first of all. So inside here, we could potentially do an A and just maybe Actually, the color is already good. So I want to change the text decoration to be none because I don't want the text to be underlined. The To make the link full width, I can do display block. Then I can give it a little bit of padding, maybe like zero and then, so zero top and bottom and one rem, which is like 16 pixels potentially, left and right. And then each link, I believe has a list and that list we can remove any padding zero display as block again and then do we want to send center line it potentially so we could do text align center let's save this refresh and as you can see just like this we created our menu and also if you wanted to hover over this, and also if you want to change the color, for example, we can do inside the A, we can do another hover. So let's do hover and then background color. And then that would be background color of, I don't know, DDD, anything to make it not white, I guess. Save this, refresh and as you can see, we have a basic cover. Of course, I didn't really spend any time on the design here. It doesn't look very nice, but with a bit more padding, I think that could definitely look a little bit nicer. Maybe just like 0 0.6 rem. I think that might look nicer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, with a little bit more padding, uh, that could look very nice, but just like this, we created the drop down menu. Now, let me show you how. Now, let, let's focus on the mobile menu. All right, if we go down, uh, we actually done this in the previous tutorial. And if we click on the hamburger menu here, you will see that the menu is popping up, but it's a little bit like broken. So, we definitely need to fix this. Luckily, this is very easy to fix. So, there are a couple of ways we can do this. First of all, let's find the header and find the menu so here is the menu and at the moment we are actually toggling this with javascript so if i go to scripts you will see that on document ready we are clicking the menu link the hamburger menu and then that's just toggling the original menu slowly you can make it fast or whatever um and then but because this menu is actually inside this little container here on the left side, that's why it's breaking. So what we can do is we can create a custom mobile menu. To do this, we can go to the header.php. We can actually copy this and maybe even under the header, we can create another div with the class name of mobile menu. So mobile-menu. And inside here, we can paste the menu. Sometimes you might see that websites have a specific menu for mobile. So we can definitely create a custom one. So let's have a look menu. 
So we could create a custom one for mobile just like this and do specific stuff for mobile if you wish. So I would copy this, change it to mobile menu and from, from WordPress, I would probably let me show you how we can actually do it without that. So at the moment, I just copied this menu here, which is the main navigation that we're using. And if I was to save this and go back to the website, refresh, of course, it's going to look like this. So this is half of the job done already. So what I will do now is I'll hide this. And then when this button is pressed, I would then uh, pop it up. So what we can do is now that we know that we have the menu class in here, we can go to scripts.js and just change this. So this is the toggle uh, function. So we want to toggle this class here, mobile menu, and let's do mobile menu and save. At the moment, if we refresh, this will be expanded, but jQuery would is smart enough to actually toggle it back. So if I click on this, it will toggle it out. And if I click on it, it will expand. So what we have to do now is actually hide this first of all. And we can hide this on, and we don't have to set any media queries on this. We can just hide it. Can I do 100%? Okay, let's hide this. So the mobile menu is the one that we want to hide. And actually, we can do this straight after the header maybe. So let's go down. Let's find where that is. I think it might be around here. So let's do mobile menu and let's hide it. Whoops, we can do dot uh, mobile menu display none. And we are done here. So just like this, we fixed the mobile menu. It doesn't seem to be working. Did I misspell it? mobile-menu, mobile-menu, um, maybe, oh, okay, sorry, I'm still in the header here, and that's why, so, yeah, I'm still in the header, so we need to find the outside of the header inside here, okay, my fault, um, so as long as we are outside the header, and we display the menu, mobile menu as none, save this, let's go back to the browser, refresh, and as you can see, we are pretty much done now. So if I press on this, all menu is popping up. And if I hide there, it disappears. Now, obviously, those two items are normal items and these are drop down menus. So what we're gonna have to do is just style them a little bit. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Let's just do a very basic one. So let's go back to styles and I wonder where to style them. Maybe we can actually just do it inside here. I think that would make a lot more sense. Uh, so it's all together. So what I'm going to do is do that dot menu. And then inside here, let's remove any of the padding of the unordered list. And then we want to set the uh, list. These are lists in, inside here. That's why they have the dots. So we want to reset this to list style type to none. And then for the links, we can do a couple of things. Maybe just do give it give every single link a little bit of padding, so 0 0.6 rem, and then one rem, which uh, is equal to 16 pixels, I believe. And then we can display every single link as, sorry, we can display every single link as block, so they block, so they take the full width and they're easy to press. And then maybe we can even display the text as center. And did I remove the text decoration? Probably not, text decoration, none. Okay, if we refresh now, you will see that this is already looking a lot better, but the drop-down menu is uh, breaking. So first of all, we'll have to hide the drop-down menu. And to do this, this is using the sub-menu class, and then just like the above menu actually, and then all we need to do is display this as none. Now, sometimes if you have a very big drop down menu, you might wish to just leave it as it is. It's annoying how those pages are stacking up like this. But of course, if we change the links, it will look a little bit better. But yeah, uh, usually if you have a very big drop down menu, you might wish to just keep it like this. And that would work absolutely fine. 
let me just quickly do change the menu just to, so admin read some password and then if I click on where's menus appearance menus uh, I could go to desktop that would be a little bit easier and then oh interesting that we have home here and we have a couple of other pages but home didn't appear okay that's a good one to spot so I think we might just have to give our menu a little bit of margin and let's just remove this one and make it a shop uh, let's say we do a custom one about doesn't seem to wanna what I don't want it to be a sub menu let's add another one just to make it look nicer uh, that should be okay so if we save this go back to our menu here and if we go to mobile uh, this menu is getting out of the way so I might have to log out again or I can just whoops okay let me log out quickly annoying and now we go back to mobile and then if we press on this button you will see the links coming up but the only thing that I notice is that the uh, home is not popping up which is here so what we have to do potentially is give this actually the menu the whole menu we can just give a I wonder if this is going to be a problem let's have a look at giving this margin top of 20 pixels okay this will work but let's have a look if this will be a problem we can do display as none but margin top of 80 pixels and if I remove all this uh, now it seems to be okay so if I was to go back to uh, mobile everything seems to be okay if I click on the mobile menu it appears and it's looking pretty nice um, for the drop down stuff again you can do exactly the same stuff that we done earlier so around where was it um, on the menu item we'll have to hover sub menu and display it as block so let's have a look at this if we go down uh, menu um, we don't have a menu item here is it let's have a look so menu item so we have menu and then menu item okay so I can do menu and then inside here we can do menu dash item and then hover sub menu display block let's have a look at this now so expand shop is the only one that has dropped down and and this is actually breaking it because shop is a link so this is something that you might want to consider maybe shop at this point will have to be an empty link and then when we press it yeah because we don't have a hover on mobile I guess well that's why you could do a separate menu and this will have to be an empty link what I mean by empty link is if we go to WP admin we could do admin password and we could go to appearance menu and create for example let's create a custom one so this will be empty and this will be shop just like so then we can add it maybe here at the top and we can stack everything underneath excuse me and remove save this now technically speaking if we go to the website if we go to mobile I had to I have to log in again that's really annoying but if you go back to mobile then if we press this and if we press shop you'll see that the links appearing but they just need to be styled styled a little bit um, so to style them we'll probably do exactly the same thing as here sub menu display none um, yeah I mean 
pretty much this can be copied or we can get grab this and put it outside so we don't have, have a duplicate code potentially so let's save this let's have a look one more time shop uh yeah okay that's why we'll have to probably have uh, separate codes for each individual one but maybe i'll just remove the position of absolute and that would fix everything yeah okay that's fixing everything but the next step i would personally do is maybe like put them as a like but change the color so you can see that they drop down so they they i would put an arrow next to the shop so it looks like there is a drop down menu and also i would somehow maybe put an arrow uh, before them just so they look like they're inside the shop if that makes sense but these are design changes that you can do and i'm gonna wrap up the video now thank you very much for watching if you found this useful uh, please consider subscribing to my channel um if you want to see the full video the link will be in the description below and as always thank you very much for watching my name is Rally, and you're watching my channel Riley Brand. thank you bye